Hi everybody, it's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. It is the most beautiful spring day here in Buckinghamshire. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Cursus Ilex that we planted in a grid pattern around the seating area on our patio. We posted a video about this last year when we did it, so you can find that on my channel. The Cursus Ilex are called a holly oak or an evergreen oak and uh, they are an oak even though the leaves look a little bit holly-like um, but they've got this beautiful silvery underside to the leaves that really shines out and I thought it would go with the other colours that we've got going on in our garden. So I was very excited to get hold of these trees last year but the trunks were very very thin, they were very young trees and we were told by the nursery that we needed to keep bamboo canes strapped to the trunks in order to stake them. So not only did we do that, but we also staked them on either side with some really strong stakes. But every time we had some wind, they would really like bend over in the wind because they're evergreen and the tops, um, I guess, are bushy and catch the wind. Those tiny little trunks um, were really struggling, even though they were strapped to these bamboo canes. And unfortunately, um, I'll put a video up of what it was like, but when we had the last storms here in the UK, we kind of had three storms in quick succession. Um, and in one of the storms, unfortunately, one of the trunks snapped in half and that tree is no more, which is a real shame. I'm really hoping we can get another tree from the nursery, but following that experience, <laughs> we dashed off to the garden center and decided that the bamboo canes just weren't strong enough and we needed to get something stronger. I really wanted to get something very natural looking to use um, but Richard was quite insistent that we got something even stronger than that so we have staked them along the trunk with you know proper timber stakes uh, the stakes are bigger than the trunks now and uh, this may turn out to be a mistake to strap the trunks to these stakes so that they don't bend but I just didn't want to lose any more trees. It's going to be quite hard to find another tree. I'm really hoping that nursery will have a tree that's a year older than it was last year, so it'll be the same size as these. So these are the new stakes that we've got, and you can see that they are probably one and a half times as big as the trunk. And we've used different straps. So we've used a little bit of the electrical tape that we used last time, but we've used some fabric straps, which we also got in the garden center. And we've staked them like this. So we've still got the two strong stakes either side and they're still strapped. And you can see here how we've tightened the straps. These are previous holes, but we've actually made them tighter because I guess these rubber bands over time um, stretch a little bit. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about what we've done with these stakes and just show you, give you an update of how the trees look. I think some of the trees, um, I've Googled it, and I think they're suffering from something called chlorosis, so we need to feed them with iron because a few of them aren't as silvery anymore. They're kind of going a little bit yellow. So this is one of the trees that's got um, I think it's a little bit of chlorosis. It's not dropping any leaves and although there are some marks on it, I don't think that's anything bad. I think this is just chlorosis. So I'm going to feed it with iron and see if it gets better. And this tree here has, this is much more the sort of colour that you're looking for. And these are the silvery undersides, which are so beautiful. So we will be pruning these trees in the near future, but I wanted to give you a quick update um, following the storms and to let you know that we've lost a tree. The great thing about the holm oak or holly oak or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> the, the cursus ilex, so the great thing about these trees is that they can be pruned into beautiful shapes. Quite often in Italy you see them as these gorgeous umbrellas and I'm hoping that we can do that with some of our trees over time but they are very young. So some of our trees had the leaders taken out, I think, in the nursery, certainly before they got to us, because we haven't pruned these trees at all. So some trees are very much like this, and other trees are very scraggly. So they do need to be pruned so that they're all a very similar shape, but also the more you prune them, the thicker they'll grow, and that's what we're looking for. So I will post a video when we prune the trees and show you how we do it. So keep your eye out for that. Um, but that's about it for today. I just wanted to let you know what has happened in the storm. 
I hope you found this update interesting and useful and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. We found that literally every time I film something there's a helicopter or a plane about, um, oh my god, another helicopter. There are some clouds in the sky but not many. I don't know why I'm talking about the weather.